Alright guys, selling here in the shed. That nut is here again. <laughs> if you hear a noise in the background, it's the trains going around and I got the heater on because it's a bit cool down here today. So welcome to you all and a happy Merry Christmas and I can't see me doing one against before New Year, so happy New Year. Uh, we never know, we might be in another lockdown before long. So there you go. So, thank you very much for all the subscribers, uh, all the personal messages I've had, and all the messages of, oh, it's gone berserk between one thing and another, Facebook, messaging, uh, YouTube, one thing and another, and your own movies, wishing me a Merry Christmas. Thank you very much for that, guys. Much appreciated, and to you guys. Without you, I can't do this, eh? Because I'll be talking to myself as I usually do. <laughs> well, and you love that, don't you, Danny? <laughs> Hiya, Danny, Southline, Sutherline. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Okay, guys, so without further ado, this is what I got for Christmas, and we'll get straight into it, no messing about. <laughs> <laughs> Not a lot's happened yet. <laughs> it's early. <laughs> right, see you in a bit. ta -ra. So now you're thinking, what's he bought? And if I show you now, and this diesel plays ball, what the hell have you bought here, Al? This is a lot of trucks in a Welsh name. Yes, ten of them. So, here they come. All ten of them. Okay, so we've got 10 with the Welsh name. Now, the purpose of buying these trucks, I, for the purpose of turning, in, turning them into something else. Okay, now the reason why I got it, and I had the, this little light bulb moment, these trucks were only five pound each in Hattons. They were pre-owned but they were and they weren't. They were pre-owned by another shop so they were all brand new stock. Uh, and I've got all the boxes and the labels on it and the previous shop owner his name's on it. So the whole point of buying these trucks is A, the cost, and B, is to turn them into something else, more up to date, because it's a bit bland having all them Welsh names in it. So I'll show you now, just a sec. So what I'll do, I'll back this one up out the way slightly. Okay. To give you a proper view of what's coming into view. Okay, that'll do. Right, and the next one, as soon as I can find the control number, here she comes. And this is what I'm going to do with the trucks. Some of you may have seen it on Facebook already. But all three trucks there, one, two, three, are exactly the same as um, the ten there. So I've been practicing uh, on the prototypes. You saw that short clip in the last film, uh, a teaser. Well, this one was the green one, and this one was the red one. So if I zoom in, what I first did there... I only painted 
the first plank on the top of that one and put the transfers on and as you can see that's exactly the same truck and this one I painted two yellow planks so I may go with the two I think it's a bit more dramatic but the majority of goods back in the day were carried on this type of vehicle but by repainting them into EWS colours and you can you can also uh, go another colour if I can find the truck just a sec as by magic <laughs> this is the other way you can do it you can go rail freight if you want a slightly older type and uh, they've gone three planks they've painted it three planks where I've done the uh, two plank but you can get it all, all the transfers from Railtech just like that you can get all that rail uh, Railtech uh, transfers we see the difference between two planks and three planks there's not a lot in it to be honest but it's more defining for the EWS colours okay but that's the reason why I bought these trucks a because of the cost and B you can turn them into something else now here's the uh, Railtech transfers okay and I got a few of them but it comes with all the EWS EWS logos and they're supposed to be an OAA um, but you can make them into an OBA as well as other things I would have thought the uh, rail freight's an OBA but you can get all these transfers like that so you can turn them into rail tech yeah just like that with all the numbers and everything in black and white uh, logos you're better off if you've got a bunch of them like this getting two sets so but that's that's how it's done and that's the reason why I've bought them to upgrade them uh, I should imagine shouldn't take too long to be honest it's simple enough what I did with that with these um, EWS ones was a quick spray with a grey primer give it a good coat of primer and then uh, match paint this this humbrel one which is RC one uh, 418 RC 418 that is the uh, EWS colour and as you can see from the locos it's virtually a perfect match okay so I find that uh, very good so what I did when I put the transfers on using uh, fixing uh, decals and all that simple um, clear nail varnish but don't tell the wife <laughs> so, clear nail varnish just over the logos and then you get no hassle and it blends in and it, it sort of seals seals the transfers in anyway so <clears throat> as you can see there just a touch too far there you go and it's simple as that um, the one thing I need to show you is how to get these bodies off if you just bear with me a moment it's, that was part of a load I was uh, playing with there and the way to get these bodies off and it's, it's not easy trying to show you on camera so you've got a, a sort of brake lever there there's none that end there's none on that side and there's none on that side there's only one brake lever on the side okay no you can't prise it off there is no screws and what you do so you put your screwdriver into that little brake lever slot and give it a slight twist yeah and what it does it's a compression fit on the buffer all it does is presses down over the buffer 
Right, let's get the other little screwdriver when I can find it. It's always something you can get there it is. And the way you do it, because see how the body's still over the chassis, slide a very thin screwdriver in there, push it along the chassis, and it just pops the other side off. And to do the other end, slide the whole screwdriver down the inside like that, as far as you can go, and just pop it when it when it wants to do it. I haven't done this one before. But that, that's basically what it is. It just takes that little bit of manipulating, as they say. There you go. And like I said, it's just a compression fit over the buffer. Okay? And that way you don't damage it. Because you see the lip it goes over the side of the chassis. So you can't uh, sort of prise it. And when, when you finish painting with it, well you can do these two separate, you could do this one, whatever you want, and then same with that. But all you do is is push push down on it to get it in. Sometimes it's a it's a quite it's quite a snug fit to be honest. There we are. If you can there you go. If you move your uh, the wheels out of the way like that and like that job done okay simple as that like I said it's, it's a speed link type rail freight so you can you can go with that colour or this colour it's up to you all right but that's the whole point of of buying um, Hang on, you need to, <laughs> need to get the train down here a little bit. There we go. And then you can fit it out with your own loads. I will be putting Hunt's couplings on these uh, eventually, but they're all right for now. Which is simple enough to do. Uh, on these, the, the bogies pop out. They just they just pop out of the uh, the holder on the chassis Ooh, like that. So here, yeah. oh, dropped it on the floor now. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> and you got these little tails on, which goes through there. Because if you don't put Hunt's couplings on, these keep them straight. Yeah. The little tails on there as it goes round the corner makes it return to the center but the whole point of me putting the hump's couplings on that it keeps it straight and as they turn the corner it turns the wheels at the same time otherwise sometimes when you're going round the corners it tends to wants to drive the opposite way and then it climbs a rail and derails but uh, that's the way i do it anyway So now you can understand why I wanted to buy them and, and at five pound each absolute steel in it you know what I mean because you, there's so many potentials you can do it with i.e. the uh, the pipe loads you can put in that's scale model scenery straps you buy on a on a sheet and you cut them out neatly they are pre-cut but they are a bit fiddly to do and then you just tack them with a bit of glue or you can do that through model, scale model scenery Tim's a pa uh, packs of timber and pallet loads there's no end to it is it really when you think about it and that gives you a good rake of wagons to run on your layout but you, you, you can have two or three or half a dozen you know or I've got ten so I can have because I've got a bigger layout, it's easier for me to to run a, a long a longer rake. I believe they're sold out in Hattons. Um, they did have a hell of a lot there, shed load of them. So as soon as I saw it on the pre-owned thing, I jumped at it, and uh, they soon disappeared. 
uh, which I'm not surprising at five pound each when when you look on uh, eBay Hattons have got one there second hand now they're selling for eleven pound majority on eBay is in mid teens and there is one guy trying to sell one of these blue ones in a box pre-owned 25 quid they don't live in the real world do they so what else have we got so this is the piece of resistance no what did they say I know I'm no good at Welsh <laughs> or French <laughs> so people wanted me to say this in it's Lanfair page Lanfair PG that's all you ever say and if you want to go 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 <laughs> that's all to do. So, don't get me trying to say that it'd take me six months to learn that I'll tell you now so right well, let's move on and we'll go to the the best bargain of the day and I I wanted this fleet and as soon as I saw them come out two years ago I wanted this fleet but there was no way I was paying that sort of money so I'll put these things uh, to one side and I'll get to uh, me special uh, Christmas present out. Ready guys? Dramatic music, take it away. So guys this is the fleet BOC gas tankers I've got eight oxygen and two nitrogen the oxygen is a yellow stripe and the nitrogen is the red stripe and it's all from he uh, Helian or Helgen whatever you want to call them I think they're fabulous So what I'll do, I'll stop it here now and I'll show you in close-up, okay? I've got to stop saying that, you know. There you go. Right, if we zoom in. And see that number there, 0015? They all come with different numbers. Okay? I've got to stop saying that, haven't I? That's 19. Uh, what's what's the next one? 3, is it? Yeah, triple O three. And like I said, they're all they're all uh, they're all different numbers, different running numbers. And you know the crazy part about it is you can change them. Like I said, that that yellow stripe one is the oxygen. And this red stripe here is the nitrogen, and it, it tells you down there on the label somewhere. The camera doesn't want to play ball today, but there you go. But I think they're absolutely gorgeous. Uh, and there's one little thing I need to show you. Now, these boxes come with two packs of... Um, detailing packs okay in one certain ones you get small uh, small handbrake wheels spare parts where is it there see on there and then on others see there's one on there on others 
you get the big handbrake wheel there. Okay, so each one will come with its own uh, detailing pack and spare parts. Right, there's the two couplings, spare handbrake, and see that rail there? Well, there's a rail there, so if you snap that rail off, you've got a spare part. This particular one comes with spare buffers uh, and vacuum pipe, brake pipe, air brake pipes, whatever, and running discs and different things in that spare pack. And the ones with the small handbrake wheel, more couplings, more bars, uh, front coupling hooks. So you can make your own uh, diorama with it in its, its own right like. And the other amazing part that, that uh, it comes with, and I can get it out of the box, just bear with me a moment. Every box, every box has got one of these. A full set of transfers with gases, all different running numbers, oxygen, nitrogen, and again all these different running numbers and separate names and everything. Every box has got one of these in. This is why the, the, the item is rather expensive. But when you think about it, what I've bought there is 10 gas tankers. It's an equivalent to an expensive loco. But I've got 10 separate items. I've got a full rake of stuff. It's alright buying locos, you've got to buy something to go behind it. Well to me I've got enough locos for now. I needed some nice rolling stock and I splashed that on myself for it. So I'm well well chuffed with it. Uh, I've had no issues. The back to backs were slightly out and it does not like Hunt's couplings. They don't like them at all because the couplings are spring loaded and it was causing a shed load of problems. So I took all the Hunt's couplings back off, put the normal NEM pocket couplings back on and no issues whatsoever with it. Uh, so that, that's that's a good thing and a bad thing, you know, it's, but there's, there's no issues, any train can pull it now, so. And talking of trains pulling, on the uh, Hatton's website for running these in rakes, this was the loco it actually pulled it. Uh, large logo, 37, with red uh, solba. So, no issues. And it works fabulously. So I'm, I'm really, really chuffed. They really do go, run lovely. Can't fault it. And I think it, because they're in white and the distinct red, looks a fabulous way to, to have. And the, uh, the tanker fleet's all on metal wheels, a disc braked metal wheel, similar to the Class 68 uh, loco. But doesn't really look fabulous snaking there like that. That's a beautiful look stuff. So to finish the film off, I'll just show you what else I'm running today, which is the Freightliner with pulling the TTAs. And then we've got my gas tankers coming around from my class 37. On the other line I've got my 66 DRS Malcolms pulling the fuel tankers. And all that's left is the, uh, the Welsh trucks and eventually come round. So I'll leave that there for the moment. 
and you know what it's like the moment you turn the camera off so what can I say guys but uh, thank you to all the subscribers all the messages um, and a very Merry Christmas to you I hope you uh, received some great presents I know quite a few have had uh, some great presents and uh, the only thing left now is to wish you a happy new year so I'm sure I'm going to have fun running these tankers because I've got four sets of tankers now because remember I've got the um, uh, what's they call them sludge sludge uh, sludge ones but I really really like these and they're still on offering hatons at a reduced price at £30 off each one. Remember when they first come out they were £75 each and nobody bought them. Two years later they reduced the price down to £45 and I don't think they'll come down any less than that unless they're absolutely desperate. Because when you think about the Helgen, Helgen uh, cargo wagons, they're £42. So these are 45 with all the extras, all the detailing packs. You can turn them into virtually anything you wish. I think it's a bargain. And uh, I've got a great fleet now. So that's it for now. And uh, thank you very much all my YouTube model railway friends alright then for, all right for now bye and see you in the next one hopefully not too long sure I'll come up with something bye guys bye